Tottenham can secure shrewd Arda Gula loan transfer after Real Madrid exit update. Welcome back to Tottenham News Today channel. Tottenham and Daniel Levy could pull off a shrewd transfer move to sign Real Madrid gem Arda Gula on loan, according to football finance expert Dan Plumley. Spurs are understood to be one of the sides interested in signing the Turkish international on a temporary basis in January, with the teenager growing frustrated with his lack of game time in the Spanish capital. Although any deal to bring in the 19-year-old will be expensive for Ange Postacoglu's side, Plumley insists it could be a more financially viable option for the Lilywhites than a big-money permanent signing. It's likely to be an expensive loan deal, Plumley told Tottenham News. But of course, loan deals are probably still cheaper than an overall transfer fee and it's not going to be the type of player Real Madrid are going to be looking to sell at the minute if his potential is to be realised in the future. It's one of those that you would put in the more high-profile loan category and that is likely to be more expensive. But if you can get that kind of player with that potential even for a short amount of time, you might perceive that to be a good deal rather than going into the market for a permanent signing. It could prove to be a pretty shrewd move, even though it is still going to be a relatively expensive fee in terms of a loan agreement given the nature of the club you're loaning from and the player in context. Spurs spent heavily this summer to bolster their attacking options with the signing of Dominic Solanke, and while the England international has impressed in North London, the Lily Whites could benefit from some added creativity in and around him. Gula has only managed to start three La Liga games this season, despite scoring six goals in just ten league appearances for the Spanish Giants last term, so his quality in the final third is there for everyone to see. Whether or not Spurs can win the race for his signature is another question altogether. The teenager is unlikely to be short of potential suitors, but the two clubs' relationship could aid a deal given the business they have completed with one another in the past. Club are convinced Tottenham will sign their £20.8 million player at the end of the season. A story from ABC Sevilla now states that Real Betis are convinced Spurs will sign the United States international from them before July 2025. In case you missed it, Tottenham agreed a £20.8 million option to buy Johnny Cardoso as part of the agreement to sell Giovanni Lo Celso to Real Betis for just £8.4 million back in August. Spurs have until July 1st, 2025 to activate this option, and ABC Sevilla state that those inside Real Betis believe it is already a foregone conclusion that Tottenham will sign the 23-year-old defensive midfielder. That would appear to bode well for Tottenham fans, as the Spanish news outlet only made the claim while writing a glowing review of Cardoso's performance against Atletico Madrid on Sunday, as Real Betis recorded a 1-0 win. Interestingly, Mauricio Pochettino could also influence how Johnny Cardoso performs at Tottenham, as the Argentine is now the real Betis number no. 4's manager for the United States. As things stand, Postacoglu has a lot of talented midfielders, but none who truly excel when it comes to marshalling the middle of the pitch and keeping things compact like a traditional defensive midfielder would. In the likes of Saar, Rodrigo Bentancur, James Madison, Dejan Kulusevski and Yves Bissouma, Tottenham have an array of midfielders who like to carry the ball or gatecrash the box to finish off moves. That is all well and good, but it contributes to Tottenham's matches looking more akin to a basketball game, in which the play is often end-to-end, -end, with Spurs lacking much control of proceedings. In Johnny Cardoso, Tottenham could finally secure the number 6 Postacolu needs to unlock his more adventurous midfielders and give Spurs a linchpin who can organise the midfield, like Rodri at Manchester City. One of the players Tottenham are tracking ahead of January has a release clause in his contract, but the problem is that it is exceedingly high. Palmeiras' wonderkid Vitor Reis has won many admirers since breaking into the Brazilian club's first team, and he is now being linked with a move to the Premier League. Earlier this month, TBR Football revealed that Spurs and Arsenal were among the young defenders' admirers, with both clubs plotting a January move for him. A few days ago, his agent Claudio Fiorito confirmed that the 18-year-old is ready to make the step up to Europe, but made it clear that he had his heart set on moving to a side which can offer him Champions League football. Nosso Palmeiras have now reported on race's future, revealing that Liverpool are also eyeing a move for the young centre-back.
It is asserted that the Reds have identified the teenager as the man to eventually take over from Virgil van Dijk when the Dutchman moves on. However, the report says that the South American starlet has a huge release clause in his contract, which stands at a whopping £83 million. Palmeiras would have added such a release clause to protect themselves, but they would realise that there is no way they are getting even half of that amount for a player who has not even had a full season of senior football under his belt. The Brazilian club will likely find it difficult to turn down offers of around £25 or £30 million for race in January. Bournemouth have just come up with a plan to stop Tottenham from signing Antoine Semenyo, a former Spurs employee has revealed. After successfully signing Dominic Solanke in the summer, it has been reported that Tottenham could raid Bournemouth again for one of their star players. This time, it is Semenyo who is on Spurs' radar, with Ange Postacoglu's men thought to have been extremely impressed by the wingers' performances this campaign. Some sources have insisted over recent weeks that Cherries are determined to keep hold of the 24-year-old and are not in the mood to entertain any offers for him in January. According to Mick Brown, who formerly worked as a scout for Spurs, Manchester United and West Ham, and Doni Iraola's men are ready to take drastic measures to keep hold of Semenyo. He says that the South Coast Club are prepared to offer the winger a new deal, even though he only signed a contract extension this summer. When asked about the speculation over Semenyo's future, Brown told Football Insider, I'm told a lot of this talk is agent-led. They're putting out the word on their client to drum up interest in his signature. That could land him a new deal at Bournemouth, because it's a two-way thing. I know the club think highly of him and don't want to see him leave so they could discuss a new contract to put off interest. But the agent will be saying that if they don't offer a contract, there's now interest from other clubs, so it's a win-win situation for them. That's how agents work these days. They're always looking to make things happen. Semenyo himself had admitted a little over a week ago that he is ready to make a step up to a club which can offer him European football. When asked if he wants to join a top club, he told The Athletic, Yeah, any team that plays Champions League, Europa League, that's the aim. I know that's not going to come with a click of my fingers. It's going to take some time. It's going to take goals. It's going to take a lot of consistent performances. But I've worked all my life for that and I'm just going to continue working hard. That's my mentality. Only time will tell if this statement was a part of the strategy from the players' camp to force Bournemouth back to the negotiating table over a new contract. That's all for today's update. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay in the loop with all things Tottenham, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. Don't forget to like this video and share it with fellow Spurs supporters. Let's grow our Tottenham News Today community together. Thanks for watching. And as always, come on you Spurs.